So, have you played, by chance, Link's Awakening on um, the Game Boy Color or the Game Boy? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. It's been a long time since I played Game Boy. Have you played Dark Souls Two? Mm -hmm. So you know in this game um, how like you turn up in the boat, like and there's like a ship, yep. there's like a wave that comes along beforehand. Um, the same thing happens in Link's Awakening at the beginning. Like he's he's on a boat out in the middle of nowhere. A wave comes along, knocks him out. He wakes up on a beach, um, and obviously the whole scenario of the game itself is actually like a dream. It turns out. Um, or that he's actually inside the dream of a giant fish. Um, so there's like a trope within certain kinds of games, like uh, Dark Souls 2, for example, when he like descends into the water, into like the upside down world, so to speak, or like a Silent Hill 2 mm -hmm. type thing, where like you're in like a, both a physical and a metaphysical space. What I'm trying to say is, is that I noticed that with this game, like that's how it starts. And I was like, oh, there's like comparisons here to like other games and like how they do this kind of stuff. Yeah, it's uh, it does remind me a lot of Dark Souls. Right. I also found it interesting that it starts you off with the blade, which is like really misleading, isn't it? Like to how the rest of the game plays. I know. I was not expecting to get like shotguns and pistols and. Mm. Is there a bonus for like doing the first section without using a healing item? I don't know. I don't know. It'd be really frickin' tough to do it. <laughs> let's, let's see how far I can get. Oh no! So far I'm not doing so well. <laughs> <laughs> there, was, there was quite a few um, errors as well when I was playing. Like, um, there was like an object I could hear like banging around in the di in the distance. Um, like like a physics thing, but it was an area that you couldn't get mm -hmm. to. And then there's mm. also like um, I didn't notice that. And there's also like doors that are um, like brand new in, a, in, a, in an environment where the walls are damaged, and it's sort of like, oh, why is this door look like it's brand new, like it's recently been installed? Well, you didn't notice there's carpenters running around installing doors and windows in the game. No, I had. <laughs> uh, bullshit in the game. I reckon you could run past these guys. Yeah, I think you can. I like how, um, as well, like there's no stamina for your melee. And then in the um, cinematic, your guy's like out of breath, like swinging his sword. Mm hmm. Sorry, these are all thoughts that I had to myself when I was first playing. <laughs> no, I have to share them with someone. <laughs> have you watched uh, The Walking Dead? Uh, y yes. I think that the the commander is almost like the spitting image of Carol in that show. Oh, there you go. It is quite a tropey thing though, isn't it? Like, I use that word again. And I don't know what it means. <laughs> oh, okay, damn. Um, like, uh, a trope is kind of like a cliche, but doesn't necessarily mean cliche. It would be like a, um, a stereotypical thing that tends to happen in a story that like people are familiar with like so say for example in a zombie film or a game you might have like a siege scenario like that's a trope or like in a stephen okay. king book it would be in maine like the location of maine or like the main character would be a writer like a horror writer Whoa, take it slow. Um, or like a trope of romantic comedies would be that the couple will like fall out at some point Ward i'm wallace I, wanted, oh, I wish I could think of a better example, to be honest. <laughs> well, I've done the uh, the beginning, beginning bit, and now I've got to go speak to uh, Carol. Yeah, you're pretty well. You put up. Right where I'm at, I just talked to her. 
It's my job. We have I'm just a-mashing my way through it. But you've got... Truth is, we had to block... So do you stream quite a bit, or...? Uh, I did what. at one point, you and then my net connection was really shit, so... And, and it's, to be honest, it's right. not then any better now, but for some reason it seems to be working okay Don't at the moment. Um, business. mostly I streamed with us. the idea in mind of taking the archive footage and then editing it and creating a YouTube videos, but then obviously that's time, effort, and obviously the quality of the, um, the stream is just shit. Therefore, like, you know, the quality is just so bad that I'm just, I look at it, I download it, look at it, and I go, ah, oh, yeah, this isn't really going to work. <laughs> so, um, but, you know, it might be something I get back into, um, provided that the, uh, the RNG gods of, uh, internet connection are in my favour. So I did scrap her last time. Yeah, you were the heavy guy, weren't you? The um, yeah. shotgun guy. I had done the um, Healy guy, the one who gets the mod uh, bonus. Um, the middle one. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm actually just looking at right now. Yeah, if you want to go for him. Uh, name's Ace, that right? So, and I'll go... Uh, lucky for you. Would have done it I don't know, like, a heavy guy seems like a good okay, option, to be honest. So you go upstairs. Yeah, I was using him in hopes to kind of be like a bit of a tank. Mm. When I was but playing the game. the game isn't very tank oriented, yeah. is it? No, it is not. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's not, not even close. <laughs> I mean, I guess I play as the hunter. Even though you've already played with someone as the hunter. Um... I will play as the hunter, and I I, I shall be your uh, your flame for this uh, for this game. That should improve our odds. Oh, you can you can be whoever the f whoever the fuck you are. <laughs> I'll be my own class. Well, I didn't hear I didn't use that healing item. I've still got it. Oh, I like this guy's gun. Oh, what, his, uh... What was it, carriage? His coach gun. Coach gun, that's the one, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. It's a bit shorter range than you'd think it would be. Yeah, it's pretty high damage, though, and it's yeah. longer range than the shotgun. Yeah, I, I felt it was very shotgunny, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Although I found myself using the pistol a lot of the time. Yes. I have found that a lot, too. Like, a lot. <laughs> using the pistol. Oh. Press the B button to, to melee attack. What I find strange is that there is no, um, you'd think there would be like a one separate button for melee, and then like a, a line fire button. I keep trying to do that. You know that actually, uh, that took me a while to get used to, having to use the left trigger to actually use my yeah. gun. Yeah. Nice. There's some cool um, enemies that I've seen so far, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so far with the hunter, um, what I've been doing is uh, using my rifle and then swapping to the pistol and swapping back. He seems to weapon swap really quickly. It and it does take a little bit to get used to the combat in this game. Hmm, it's quite messy, isn't it? Like not in a not in a bad way, but like it's almost deliberately a bit like all over the place. Yes. Not so much when you're using your uh, your ranged weapons, but when you're using your melee. Melee, yeah. It's a little. It's a little clunky. Don't hit me. I thought earlier on the fire one was on fire because she set on fire. Oh, I think I'm dead. Oh. Oh, she... 
Ah, oh, I think I failed. Did I fail? No, I didn't fail. Hmm. 